Item number SCP 1861 J. Security level 2. Containment class Esoteric. Secondary class Thamio. Disruption class Flam. Risk class Caution. Special containment procedures. The original SCP 1861 J manuscript is to be maintained within a climate control file suitable for preserving 1700's parchment. Approved instances of SCP 1861 J1 are to be stored for immediate access on all Foundation distributed media players and sound systems where activation does not conflict with other special containment procedures. In the case of all Keller class containment and Movie 43 class morale failures, an instance of SCP 1861 J1 is to be immediately activated within audible reach of all in Fault Foundation personnel. D-Class personnel are optional. Repetition of the SCP 1861J1 instance is to occur up to 12 times or until the failure is resolved. Should the failure not be resolved by the conclusion of 12 repetitions of an SCP 1861J1 instance, Plan 1861J9 is to be engaged. Description SCP 1861J is the Foundation's instrumental march or anthem titled Beep and composed by Francesca Casora in 1791. Mr. Casora died later that same year of erotic asphyxiation. SCP 1861J was discovered in the Foundation's archives by Foundation personnel in 1947, contained in a manila envelope. The envelope was not acid free. With the dedication to my dearest friends at the Foundation, it is unknown when SCP 1861J originally came into the Foundation's possession or how Mr. Kotsawa was aware of the organization. SCP 1861J was made the Foundation's official march in 1953 by order of the O5 Council. SCP 012 was considered as a close second. Whenever an instance of SCP 1861J1 in audio or audiovisual production or recording of such a production of SCP 1861J, is heard by Foundation personnel, an almost immediate change in emotional and behavioral character is observed. The effects of SCP 1861J1 instances include increased positivity of mood, greater job productivity, tendency to vocalize alongside SCP 1861J. The quality of vocalizations varies significantly between personnel. Increased opinion of the Foundation. Decreased concern of job-related expiration. These effects experience diminishing returns with each immediate repetition of SCP 1861J1 instances. No anonymous activity has been noted with SCP 1861J directly, nor with the reproductions and writing on photographs. However, Foundation personnel who simply imagine instances of SCP 1861J1 experience similar but reduced forms of the aforementioned effects. Note there are no official lyrics to accompany the Foundation's march. Any lyrics provided by Dr. Bright is to be disregarded by Foundation personnel as possible mimetic hazards. All five feet. Adenum 1861JA. List of known SCP 1861J1 instances. Approved instances. Dr. Beep's solo accordion performance on 19 Beep, December 4th. The Foundation Symphonic Orchestra's dress rehearsal on 19 Beep, February 28th. Soloist Dr. Beep showed during the performance. The D Class Ensemble performance on 20 Beep. June 14th, conducted by Dr. Beep. Unapproved instances, 
Dr. Cliff on his personal up like piano after consumption of twice the recommended dose of sopitum. All 13 recordings by Foundation personnel in facility showers. Addendum 1861 JB Transcript Log 1861 J 20 Beep February 8th The following transcription is an excerpt of a conversation between two security officers responding to a containment breach of SCP 682 on 20 Beep November 8th. Begin log. 13 hour, 34 minute, 5 seconds. We can do it, Beep. It's too strong. We must, Beep. The world depends on us. At this point, an SCP-1861-J1 instance becomes audible to both officers. You're right. We have to destroy it. For the Foundation! Charge! A man's battle cry can be heard amongst extended gunfire. End log. 13 hours, 55 minutes, 31 seconds. Officer Beep was subsequently captured and consumed by SCP-682 within 17 seconds of taking the offensive. Addendum 1861-JC Plan 1861-J9 Beatings will proceed until morale or containment improves.